we uh, look after research predominantly and some teaching around the university so we basically provide compute resources and support on those resources to the academics. We've got about 5,000 staff and about 20 to 30,000 students on average. Prior to having Nutanix software, uh, we had several legacy uh, compute and storage clusters. All of them were different, sort of had their complexities. So we, we decided to then look for a new technology that would enable us to sort of hyperscale all those together and make things easier for us to manage long run. The biggest limitation that we had with the existing infrastructure was um, scalability. We had to be able to scale very quickly for the researchers that say, I need this tomorrow. In fact, often, I need it yesterday. One of the biggest limitations that we had was due to um, most of it was open source with no support. Whereas now, we have great support contract with Nutanix. By using the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud technology, we can release staff that we're spending two FTE a week looking after one storage subsystem. They could then help researchers do research. We basically can enable the academics to use resources that they've pre-purchased. When a research grant comes in and they say, I need so many CPUs, so much memory and so much storage, we then create a project and allocate those to them. So at that point, IT can take their hands off it and the end user can get involved. We've brought down from about 10 days turnaround time for when we are to manually build a VM to about five minutes. So we've created templates, sort of blueprints that enable them to just log on, build and scale out what they need and just add to it. We look after the day-to-day -day running of the cluster, which looks after itself, which is, so it's great. We were all give them the same spiel of, we've got the best support out there, you know, and you go, that's nice, I'll see it when we get it. And then when you do actually get it, it's incredible. When we were doing the proof of concept, I was messing around with our cluster and wanted to break it. And it was a Sunday afternoon and my, my phone rang and it was somebody in the Durham support office going, what are you doing? Because it was sending all these messages through to Nutanix going, some muppet in the UK is messing around with the cluster. I think he's broken it. And he went, no problem, I'll jump on and fixed it. And at that point, we weren't even a customer, but that support was there to sort of make sure we help it. I see Nutanix as a partner more than a vendor because of the relationship that we have with them. Using Nutanix Enterprise software, we're, we've basically been able to save about 60% on average um, per VM for a year in comparison to Azure. One of the big ones that my staff have sort of been happy about is so they get their Tuesday nights back. So Tuesday nights is change night, and we don't have to worry about sitting and doing our upgrades to our existing environment. Our current infrastructure is 18 Dell EMC nodes uh, running on the XC series. We first got eight and within 21 days of placing our first order we ordered us another 10 um, and we see that kind of growth because we, we have now decided to put all our eggs in one basket which again for the IT industry is quite a rare thing to do. We have now made the decision that we will for research only have Nutanix Enterprise Cloud for all our workloads including file storage as well.